Okie dokie guys, uh, we are back again with another video about frame generation on older Nvidia GPUs, 2000 and 3000 series. So if you have one of these GPUs and you desperately want to use frame generation, and you should actually do, because the performance is really good from what we have seen on Cyberpunk and um, of course yesterday with The Witcher 3. Today we are back with another game which is Hitman 3, which is another game that supports Nvidia DLSS frame generation, uh, basically that is used uh, by default only on the 40 series GPUs. But now with this mod with FSR 3, because again, I know some people might find this a little bit controversial, but yeah, I know it's, uh, uh, we are using actually FSR 3, not frame generation by Nvidia itself, but nonetheless, we are using FSR 3 through the DLSS pipeline or frame generation pipeline as it is called in the game. So yeah, I know, technically, again, we are using FSR 3 nonetheless, but it is called DLSS, of course, in the games, because basically we are tricking uh, the system to think that we are using a 40 series GPU uh, instead of uh, 20 or 30 series GPU. Anyway, uh, he uh, here we are on stock settings. I have a 3090 for the people that don't know in this area. It's not very crowded, very heavy, but nonetheless, um, yeah, pretty good. I mean, 51 FPS. Actually, I was getting around uh, 70 before starting to, sh uh, to record, but of course I'm recording. I have a video broadcast open and a bunch of other applications going on. So the performance actually in this area, because I have already seen it, uh, with the uh, 4K, uh, let me show you, basically everything cranked uh, at maximum 4K, uh, ray tracing, NVIDIA DLSS quality, you cannot play unfortunately this game with my GPU without uh, DLSS, but yeah, DLSS on quality, ray tracing everything on max, and yeah, I was getting before around 70 here, not 50, but yeah, I guess the recording and all the other stuff are affecting the gameplay, but nonetheless, it's a good... Uh, indication on what we can expect. So as you see, we are around 50, 53, yeah, let's call it 50. And as usual, first things first, we need to uh, grab the applications or uh, the files that we need to modify, basically to be able to implement FSR3 frame generation through NVIDIA DLSS pipeline and basically enable it through frame generation in the game. So yeah, uh, you have the link in the video description, but yeah, this is uh, the GitHub page is by Nukem9 and you have the link here that it will take us of course to the Nexus mod and here you can download the first one or uh, the universal one. I would suggest you use the universal one. For this game, I am using the universal one and not the first one that I used on um, uh, on Cyberpunk, but yeah, basically it's uh, basically the same files, but the universal one has more diversity. If uh, something doesn't work, you have other files that you can use. In this case, the files that I'm using is from the universal one, this one here, DLSS version. Uh, so basically just copy these two files after we have done the procedure uh, that I uh, showed you on Cyberpunk. So basically, let me remind you about that. You need to download the first files in here, the first file here. And after you download that, this is what you're gonna find inside the same files as you can copy, you can copy these two, it's basically the same. But we uh, also need an extra step after we copy the files to the game folder. We basically need to uh, modify the Windows registry with this file here by executing this file here. And uh, if you're not comfortable by modifying the registry files, do not do it, it's uh, uh, totally up to you. I have used it for several days now, I never had any problems, even with the game, even with Windows, so for me it's totally fine. But you can decide to do what you want to do. Before modifying the files though, you can do an extra step to be sure about yourself. I mean, you can create a restore point on your Windows. If you don't know how to create a restore point on Windows, it's pretty easy. Just search on Google how to create a restore point on Windows 11, 10, whatever you may have, and you are gonna find the procedure. It's really easy. Create a restore point. If uh, something bad happens, game keeps on crashing, or you 
decide to uh, revert to where you were you can restore your windows to where it was before doing the registry modification or if you don't want to use that you also have a file here that restores what we're going to change with the first one so with this one you go back to uh, how it was for the registry so you can use this one to restore back the registry or the restore points as I told you Okay, so with that out of the way, copy the files either from here or from the universal app. As I told you here, files here, I'm going to use the universal one, but basically uh, they should work both the same way. Now, for the games uh, uh, that launch from the Xbox uh, game app uh, f from Windows, it's a little bit tricky to find... Uh, uh, to find the folder it's not uh, as straight as forward well i mean if you haven't changed the uh, the stock folder of uh, xbox game files it should be on c drive and then you will find an xbox game folder which is this one here for me i have changed uh, the default folder so for me it's going to be and again Xbox game apps and here is a uh, hitman now for hitman it's again a little bit tricky because we have different files here as you see what you need to do you need to go to the PC hitman uh, 3 base game folder to so this one here not this other folder so you go here then you go to content then you go to retail and here you will find the .exe uh, a file for launching the game executable to launch the game here is where you're gonna uh, copy the files from uh, that we have downloaded from uh, the folder and here is mine here is uh, one and the other one should be Nvidia the, this one here so you just copy the files here after you have done the procedure that I told you for with the registry and you should be uh, good to go so now let's go back into the game uh, so now let's just go ahead after we have done of course the procedure uh, of modifying the files okay and now here you will see frame generation is actually toggable so we can toggle frame generation with that also enables Nvidia reflex low latency so I would suggest you enable it with the uh, frame generation and uh, yeah let's see now how we get with frame generation activated and voila 90 FPS 88 86 90 it's really smooth frame time is good even with fast movement we range from 10 to 14 11 11 10 yeah it's pretty smooth so it is actually working and i say this and i i want to do this try uh because sometimes with fake frame generation let's call it this way i mean it's not fake it's still frame generation uh, but sometimes um, a frame generation does duplicate files, especially FSR does not generate new frames. And which means uh, the, um, the frame times will go up like 40 to 50 milliseconds. But as you see, we are at 11, 13, 12. It's all good as it should be for 90 FPS, which means the technology is working. It's really smooth. I don't notice any stuttering, at least on my screen. I don't know if it's going to come up on YouTube, but no stuttering no problems at all basically so yeah it is working a hundred percent guys and there you have it boom uh again frame generation on 30 series and 20 series so go ahead and give it a try of course you don't need to go everything cranked up as i have done here because of course i have a 3090 I mean, although it's old, it's still a high-end GPU nonetheless. But yeah, with a 202060, maybe you can play this game comfortably at 1080p. Almost everything maxed out, maybe everything maxed out, I don't know, with frame generation and DLSS. But one other thing that you can do, you don't need frame generation and DLSS on quality. You can go, uh, especially in 4K, you can go... Uh, uh, DLSS performance mode because you can, you don't actually need uh, 4K and DLSS quality. You can go performance and not lose quality at all in 4K. It's totally the bull, but, but uh, instead you will gain a lot of FPS. Oh, you know what? Let's just give it a try and see how much do I gain. So I am at 4K, everything maxed out, DLSS quality. I am around 86, 88, 86 to 90. Let's go to performance, see if it changed anything. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm talking crap here i mean it's the first time i'm trying this game with the lss uh, frame generation so i don't know so uh, let's go to performance okay let's let the game save go back oh okay that's really good so we go from 86 to 90 we go to 116 
holy shoot that almost 30 percent increase and i don't see any major issues with performance yes on the trees a little bit of shimmering of course uh from 4k we go to performance we go down uh pretty significant amount in resolution but still it's pretty good actually especially if, if you don't focus on the on the branches of the trees which are uh, this game doesn't have i mean yeah how many times we're gonna we're gonna focus on the branches of the uh, trees right so yeah it's it's totally doable over 100 fps no problem with my gpu which means even with the 2060 i think it's go you're gonna be at 1440p even performance mode you're gonna be at 60 or maybe even more than that so totally playable for this game and totally playable with basically everything maxed out maybe okay then that was it again for today guys hope you enjoyed this one if you have another game that you want to see how this uh, trick performs you can try it yourself or you can uh comment on the comment section and i will try to uh, use that so you guys uh I uh, can see it or maybe if I encounter problems I can uh, I can show you guys what I encounter until now as I told you after several days I've never had crashes no problems no major visual issues even in performance mode in quality DLSS enabling frame generations it actually enables high frame rates for me because with most games that I wasn't able to go above 60 especially cyberpunk and witcher 3 which I was around 30 to 40 with everything maxed out at 4K. Now I can comfortably go over 60, no problem, but even uh, 100 or more if I turn down, down a little bit some settings. So yeah, go ahead, guys. Enjoy frame generation for older GPUs, although it's FSR, FSR 3 is still frame generation. Who cares? Anyway, that was it, guys. Don't forget all the good stuff. Subscribe, like, share, comment, even dislike if you want. Everything it is going to be helpful for the channel. And as usual, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.